What do we have here? You can't play basketball like that. Good thing we have athletic trainer Melissa to help us out. Let's start from the bottom and talk about their footwear. Basketball, the proper footwear is needed. Good thing athletic trainer Melissa supplied us with high top sneakers. These sneakers will give us the ankle support, traction, and with the proper fit, they'll give us arch support that we need. They'll also prevent lateral ankle sprains, turf toe, soccer toe, shin splints if the proper insoles. Good thing these girls have the right shoes on. Oh no! After Maddie's bad fall, and of course after some acute care and rehab, athletic trainer Melissa is fitting her with an ankle brace. This specific ankle brace will provide support both lateral and medial. It stays tight throughout practice, unlike tape which can sometimes be loosened by sweat. This one specifically has laces, stirrups, which can be put in a figure eight fashion to mimic tape, and an elastic cuff on top to lock everything in place. This one needs to have a proper fit, and to check this, you look at the heel, tongue, and laces to make sure everything fits great. Jackie's fall, athletic trainer Melissa is supplying her with a compression sleeve knee brace, which is a type of functional knee brace. This is for people who have experienced a knee injury and need support to recover from it. It will reduce the rotation of the knee and give her the stability she needs. Oh no! If Maddie had been wearing a mouth guard, it would have reduced her injury to her teeth arches, lips, and gums. Here, athletic trainer Melissa will supply her with a semi-custom mouth guard. She will use the impression putty and mix them until they make a solid color. After they are made into a solid color, mold them into the provided mouthpiece, place in mouth, and bite down firmly for 90 seconds. Remove the product after biting down for 90 seconds, pull it out, and send it away to the company for finish. Another type of mouth guard is a boil and bite. It is made of a thermoplastic material that can be adapted to fit more closely by heating it up taking it out and placing it in the athlete's mouth and molding it for a perfect fit. Instead of wearing her regular eyewear, Maddie should have worn Rex Specs, which are protective eyewear. They're shatterproof and glareproof and will provide protection to any eye injury that Maddie can come across in basketball. Now that Jackie and Maddie are suited up thanks to athletic trainer Melissa, they're ready to go play basketball safely without injury. Unlike Mario! Whoa, hold up there. Is that the right equipment you should be wearing for ice hockey? What are these pillows doing on your legs? You should have on shin guards, which are worn on the front of the player's shins to protect them from injury. They generally cover the length of the lower leg from just above the ankle to just below the knee. You can't wear plain old gym shorts to play ice hockey. You need to wear hockey pants. Good thing athletic trainer Mario has brought some. These knee-to-waist protective gear are fitted with a variety of padding depending on whether they are worn by the goalies or the skaters. This specific pair is worn by the skaters and are fitted with thigh pads and hip pads to give protection from any collision or pucks. You can't play hockey with your arms exposed. Good thing athletic trainer Mario brought some elbow pads. These provide forearm and tricep protection and the reinforced elbow cup will keep his elbow safe. <clears throat> A majority of all elbow pads are adjustable and are secured with Velcro straps.
You can't wear that chest protector. It's for softball. Good thing athletic trainer Mario has brought in shoulder pads. These shoulder pads include a torso and spine area, which will give protection from pucks and collisions. They're made from a hard material, are broad and rigid, but do not hinder the movements of the upper body. Their main function is to protect the parts of the upper body, including the clavicle, upper arms, upper chest, and back. are not acceptable to wear for ice hockey. When picking out the right ice hockey skates, make sure that they are one to one and a half sizes down from your regular shoe size. When putting them on, the skater should kick his heel to the back of the skate. The toe should barely touch the toe cap. Make sure you keep the heel to the back while lacing them up in, in order to ensure a tight fit. Before the athlete hits the ice, have them walk around a little and make sure that it's the, it fits nice and snug. Now that his jersey's on, the last two things you need are your gloves and helmet. When fitting gloves, one should have a loose fit so that they fit like winter gloves. The glove should extend up the forearm to the bottom of the elbow pad. The gap between the glove and the elbow pad should be minimal. The glove should provide freedom to move in all positions with res without restricting movement or chafing the arm. Who do you think you are, Martha Stewart? You can't wear a pot to play ice hockey. The helmet in ice hockey protects the head from potential injury when hit by the puck sticks, skates, board, or other players or the ice. The helmet grips the head from the inside by cupping the back of the head at the occipital protuberance. Use the manufacturer's size chart for proper measurements. The helmets are made of vinyl nitrate that disperses force from the point of contact, which reduces the chances of concussion. The visor or shield is attached to the front of the helmet to reduce potential injury of the face. The cage is also attached to the front which also reduces potential injury. It consists of a metal or composite mesh that covers the entire face and protects the eyes while allowing full airflow. Now that Matt's suited up and ready to play, let's go play some ice hockey. Hopefully he has some skill. soccer toe and with the proper flip-flops won't protect us from soccer toe <laughs> footwear is needed good thing athletic trainer <laughs> oh my ankle oh no after maddie's bad fall and of course after some acute care and rehab stop <laughs> has laces <laughs> to reduce the rotation of the knee and give stability dang it i was watching Stop, you're wasting your battery. Wait, how am I starting it? If you fall down, I will be no good. <laughs> how many guys does it take to take off a pair of pants? <laughs> Specific ones are worn by skaters and have pads for your thighs and hip and are laced up and then tightened at the waist. <laughs> with pants on the side. <laughs> Yo, we're trying to do a school project. You're rude. You're making noise in the Shut video. Shut up. You're like five. Grow up. Yeah. You have a really bad age. Yeah, you don't want to get in These sneakers are... Oh, wait. Told now that Matt's suited up and ready to go. <laughs> He has some skill. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy
happy 